Congratulations of Maria Anne-Marie Benucci, Matar Benucci, and Jeremy Gage. It's only a coincidence that the last two conferences were cancelled by them. It's happened in such a big workshops, but I hope that the surprise that we prepared for this final uh, session will be good uh, enough. Uh, it's a good opportunity to thank, uh, we'll hear now uh, Amos Greta presenting, I hope so, something about Tripolitan, Tripolitanian culinary. And uh, it's a good opportunity to thank Smadar and Amos for their generosity and hospitality yesterday uh, evening. Yesterday we taste, and now we are going to understand what we taste, what we tasted. Is it, is it right? How you present me is like yeah. that you pay to me to be No, here. I'm not paying you, <laughs> not, not at all, not at all. Okay, I don't know not if the all. microphone is, uh, is okay. Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, momento. So I, I don't need, I think, to present Amos uh, here in its uh, home, yes, and we are very glad that he is here with us. Uh, at the beginning, we thought that Amos will be one of the chair <coughs> of our sessions, but Amos decided not to do it. Now I'm very happy that he have a good opportunity to give his uh, a lecture, not to be a chair in this uh, workshop. So Amos, please, the floor is yours. Uh, first of all, I apologize for my English, and uh, <laughs> I hope to be enough good to be understanding from you. Thank you. Thank you for invita inviting me also at the last minute. I had this speech with the students in the La Sapienza University last week, last week. And there's a curious thing, is outside of your program is a, a speech about the food in the, in a Arab, the, the Jewish food in an Arab world. And uh, so uh, I do exactly the speech how I do in front of the student there. So I will not change the things uh, because you already know most of the things that I'm going to say, but uh, I do it like that, okay? And, uh, I capito, già. Okay, as you know, Libya is five, we, we, we spoke always, we say that Libya is five times big as Italy. So the people have a, a big, impression about this country and if we remember that uh, all Africa was called uh, Libya 2000 years ago 2000 years ago so they don't have another name for Italian people was all Africa was Libya one only name for this country uh, one big box of sand <laughs> and uh, I born in Tripoli that in uh, 1945 was about 20% uh, of the population was Jewish. And, uh, and then uh, most of them go to Israel and uh, I live uh, Tripoli by myself in 1967. And, uh, but uh, the speech is not about this, it's about our living in uh, uh, Tripoli uh, together with the different community, Italian, uh, English people, and the uh, Turkish people, and the uh, Armenian people, Maltese, and Greece people, and from them we uh, learn a lot of things, uh, and uh, especially we uh, can consider that the uh, life uh, between the different religion was uh, a nice life with a big tolerance between us. And uh, I like to say that uh, uh, there were a transparent border between the religion people. That means that we live all together, we mix one the other, and we see we live one with the other, but we 
Finally, don't mix one with the other. When we go to marry, when we go to eat too. For example, the uh, Italian, uh, the, the Jewish don't go to eat because the kosher uh, from uh, to the Arab uh, house and not in the uh, Christian house. And the Arab, uh, yes, come to the Jewish house also because we are, our food is very good. And uh, and uh, the Christian, he go in all the houses. The Arab don't go to the Christian house. So this transparent border is is uh, is is made by the the the, the food specially and also uh, from uh, the um, the preservation that uh, every community want to preserve them uh, herself and uh, as you see those are the religion in this country and nobody uh, everybody respect the other. Out of some period that happened, it's very, very hard things. Uh, most, especially in the year that I was born in, 1955 to 65, 10 years, the living was very, very exemplar, if you want to say. And uh, we live all together. Also, if the uh, Jewish have no all the uh, laws uh, possibility, and uh, was a different possibility for the Jewish uh, to the Libyan uh, citizens. But uh, the life was quite good in that time. And uh, um, most of the Jewish live in the Hara. Hara, uh, the word Hara is mean four, that's mean number four. And uh, they speak about the four walls that are around this area that inside are the Jewish. It was not a ghetto. Is a, a choosing way to way uh, to live inside an area all together to preserve their uh, synagogues and their uh, kosher food and uh, all they use. And uh, when you get in from these uh, big doors, uh, you immediately feel that you are in a in a special area from the noises, from the sound, from the also the the, the 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 smell the smell special and the the perfumes because every house uh, have a, a special uh, way to cook and to prepare a lot of things because the house was not only the house was also a little fabric uh, factory of uh, uh, spices or other things so from this uh, uh, smells you you can understand exactly wi which day is of the week and also what hour sometime or, or which holiday is coming soon and uh, this is the hara the ghetto the atmosphere was very particular for this so the food the special kind of food they cook and uh, the time and the distillery of the f orange floor and uh, that we put a little bit of this on the sweets and also in the coffee and uh, the burn the the fire that uh, we cook on this kind that is called kanun kanun is a uh, is the old uh, system to cook in the center of the house also the 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 bread have a special uh, smell and perfume and then i will say why uh, the houses was uh, with a patio, like a Spanish patio, and uh, the people live inside this patio. Uh, mostly when uh, you go married, you bring one room together with the uh, mother of law, uh, mother-in-law, and uh, we live all together. They, they live all together, and it's not so simple. But the mother-in-law is, uh, is uh, managing all this house. Normally, sh she sit in the middle, and uh, they work, they cook, they make all the works of the house, uh, and they sit on the natural uh, carpets uh, to avoid the, the hot uh, and the weather uh, of Libya. And uh, the door of these houses uh, was, not, uh, was not closed at all. 
always was open. You have not to make a talk, talk to go in. Just pass the 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 woman that sit on the carpet. She have a, a right position to see the street from the, their position, and she invite every person that pass to drink a coffee or a tea, or depends from the time and other things too. So uh, this space is a factory. Uh, also, my aunt have a factory inside the house, and some of the spices that they produce was secret. The michelature, the mixed, was uh, secrets, and they don't say everything. And uh, my mother say that uh, they close the house when they make a mixture, so uh, it's a secret. The woman was sitting like uh, were sitting like this, and uh, work together, and also eat together. The kitchen was very small because most of the work they do in the patio, in the open space, and uh, the kitchen was a really very uh, small, and they use uh, copper pots normally, and uh, those copper pots was a substitute uh, uh, early in 1943 when uh, the Second World War, war, uh, war uh, some uh, some uh, airplane falls and they become to use the aluminium from the airplanes and uh, they use that for the pots in aluminium a new set they have every house get a new set in the house like those and uh, in this occasion they use also the um, parachuting to do a new uh, new uh, se dice Biancheria <laughs> intima. Uh, underwear, underwear for the woman like that in uh, silk, okay. And uh, in the in the center of the patio, there was cooked all, all the things. They prepared the coffee and they mixed the coffee with other seams to b to to get a special mi uh, mix that is cheaper. And uh, this is the woman that sit and uh, cook the coffee. And uh, also they prepare all the uh, spices for all the season. Part of them they sell. Every family have a, a particular production of s uh, some sp uh, spices. And they change one with the other to, uh, as convenient. And they sell also. Also the child was involved to this work in the house with the couscous and also with the spices. And uh, to make the couscous is uh, every day is the bread of uh, these houses, and uh, the woman was eating alone in a plate, uh, three or four women together, the mother-in-law, the, uh, the the daughter-in-law together, and it was not so simple. The plates of the women's uh, w uh, were were wi without meat about, and the men's. Uh, was full of all the meat uh, until uh, the the feminism arriving to Tripoli, and uh, this is the plate. Also, this is a basin is another kind with flavor doing, and uh, but because uh, the poverty, uh, the uh, the people have not so much money to buy all the kind of meat. So they was very specialized to cook the part, very cheap part of the, of the beef, uh, the po or uh, the interiors. Uh, and they still with those things, they make a very, very uh, interesting um, food, yeah. Um, and then we have the bread. The bread, uh, normally they send the bread to the oven, the public oven, and uh, like this. And the public oven was very interesting because it had a particular construction. Uh, the, the bakery uh, was inside the, inside the, the sidewalk of the street. And all the uh, bread is on the sidewalk, exactly. And the uh, people go around the, f uh, the bread, and every family have a particular uh, sign 
to recognize uh, her uh, uh, bread. My family have one hole and two stripes, for example, and uh, the bakery work like this, un attimino. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that make the bread very special is that the bakery inside the oven put a leaf uh, of uh, prickly pear. Mm, foglio di fico d'India that g uh, was uh, were give an humidity and a special uh, aroma to the bread and uh, this is an original uh, oven in the street of the Hara of Tripoli and uh, mm, strange that the all the ovens uh, public ovens was one near the other <laughs> Uh, in the Hara, and also on the Saturday when it's Shabbat, the people, the Jewish people, don't uh, turn on the fire, so they don't don't uh, don't open the fire, so they send also the other food, the rice, to be to make it warm uh, to the to the public oven. Then become uh, the very happy uh, day. This this is called Purim. Purim is a holiday that make uh, celebrate the salvation of uh, the Jewish population. And then uh, the strange thing that is uh, we used to send a plate of sweets to all the people near our house, as Jewish or Christian or uh, American or an English. We, we, my mother well, uh, were sent me to all those family to, to give uh, uh, a parcel like this and uh, the people was very happy to receive it because it's very good uh, sweeties and uh, uh, most of the sweeties are w uh, we're doing with semolina uh, that is very popular there but without milk as you know most of the sweeties in Europe is uh, with the milk or cream or product become from the uh, milk and in Libya the Jewish people don't use at all milk and not cheese too. And why? Because they are afraid to mix the milk with the meat that is prohibited from our uh, from the Torah. <laughs> it said you don't eat meat with milk, so they are so afraid to mix they don't buy at all. Also today you can find some somebody, some person from my community that still today don't eat uh, uh, cheese or milk. <laughs> and uh, when uh, somebody uh, buy the milk from the, uh, the momento, from the shepherd, uh, the people uh, are surprised in the Hara and ask uh, who is sick in your house because it's very special uh, things to buy to buy the milk because only if you are somebody is sick in your house you can buy <laughs> you need milk and uh, cinnamon also was a very special uh, use today too that we use cinnamon in the uh, in the in the in with meat that is not usual in Europe and is usual in our uh, culture and uh, but uh, also we use cinnamon in uh, most of our jam with fruits that we mostly do uh, during the celebration of the new year with all the kind of fruits and uh, Roschetti, when I come in Rome in 1967 I say to some friend of mine in my classroom uh, I want to eat some Roschetta and uh, they see me and uh, what is Roschetta? I don't know what is Roschetta all my life I think, I think that is a word, Italian word uh, later I discovered that uh, the Roschetta is only in Livorno and, uh, and there is a, fa a factory that makes this uh, uh, special uh, cake and uh, so regarding our history I, I, I find that uh, in the uh, 17th century uh, a lot of Jewish come exactly from Livorno maybe with them they bring the Roschetta <laughs> And uh, Nukides too. Nukides, you know, is a gnocchi in Italian. We, we in Tripoli call it Nukides as 
they call it today in Spain. And so we understand from this food also that we come from Spain and you know exactly the uh, expulsion and the uh, inquisition from uh, this country in, uh, in 1492. Okay, and then we have the vegetables. Uh, spinach or bieta uh, was uh, uh, the vegetable that we have to save for a long time because Libya have not a good weather for the greens. So uh, the way to keep the greens is to uh, concentrate them and put them in a jar and uh, to save them with oil, to use them for a long time like this, very concentrated green and then use them with the, with the food like this to keep the green in the, in the, in the, the pots. Uh, chufa is another uh, particular seeds, uh, seeds uh, that uh, I find it only in Spain today. We use it in Libya. We use it in Libya for Rosh Hashanah, for the New Year ceremony, and also we use it uh, for uh, to do like an orzata of chufa um, in, in some time ago. Today the, we do it only with the almonds, but one one time we do it also with chufa. And chufa today is only in Spain, and we continuously research it when it's uh, the Rosh Hashanah, the, the new year, just to keep the, the user. One more thing is the, uh, we call this yabrak, that is taken from the Balkan into, uh, if you see this, you remember that in Balkan they do uh, vine, uh, vine leaf, uh, with stuffed, we do something similar uh, with with uh, with um, another uh, green vegetables, and uh, we cook them as this. And uh, also this, I think that this coming from the Balkan use, but we don't have the vine leaf in Italy enough fresh to do this, so we use another thing. And the uh, tortilla is also from Spain, but we uh, elaborate this uh, tortilla and we do it very rich during the time with the uh, uh, different and uh, new ingredient inside. And also this come from Spain. And uh, Svenza or churros. Churros is in Spain as a small kind of uh, flavor, fried flavor. And uh, mm, um, all the North Africa make this fence. It, it's rounded like this, and they make a special food with this. Sometimes they put on this, uh, on the top of this, an egg, and they make a, a, a dinner only with this thing. All the North Africa have this fence, and it's very popular, also good. Bocadillo. Uh, yesterday my mother say I have to do the bocadillo. Bocadillo is a, a word from Spain that means uh, ripieno, uh, stuffed uh, sandwich or something like this. And uh, we make bocadillo to put it in, uh, in the burrica, in the, in the special uh, uh, flavor, uh, very thin. And um, after the, we come, uh, the Sicilian people uh, teach us to use the almonds, the sweet almonds, and we put the almonds inside the burrica. And then uh, they teach us also to make a bocca di dama, and then also the amaretti. Why those, those sweeties arrive to the Jewish people? Because all those don't need milk. So they immediately put them inside our receipt. One thing that I discover, this is okra that we call bamia. Uh, I see that the using of this vegetable is come from uh, Bangladesh, India, Central Africa, and North Africa. And uh, when I sign those countries and I study the uh, the, the, spa the spa uh, spices uh, and the herbs. Uh, um, um, traveling, I find this, this is exactly the line of the spice and the herb uh, that uh, the transport way. So this, uh, this vegetable surely become together with, this, uh, with the space and with the herbs with the traveling uh, during the traveling time. 
uh, till Morocco we find this okra and we uh, eat it with, uh, with the meat and this is very special because inside have a, a special gel that is a very, very original uh, uh, vegetable. We eat it with the, also with the meat or we cook it with tomato and it's very good. One more thing, in Tripoli was uh, the uh, biggest uh, factory of uh, pasta, exactly as an Italian factory of pasta, and the owner was a Jewish man, a uh, family of Jewish, and they uh, were selling to all North Africa the spaghetti and all the kind of pasta. But the older the Jewish people was using the pasta, but our way, to cook the pasta was like a sauce uh, with a lot of water, not uh, pasta asciutta like Italian style. And uh, normally uh, you need hot pepper everywhere as we use. One time I went to Portugal and uh, I wanted to test all their uh, food and I arrived to this plate and they said, wow, this is my family plate. So yeah, I asked them, what is this? This is an old plate of Portugal and uh, is made by uh, beef and in the middle you have to put a bone of pork, they say. So from this small history I, I understand that this was a way for the Marani, the ones that want to be, to keep this, their food in Spain when they converted to don't be persecuted. They show the bone of the pork and they were saved when the inquisitor came to check their food also. Okay, because this was a very Jewish plate. And uh, Libya was very rich for, to, to fish and torna, tornare, and they produce bottarga and mova di tono, and they have a, a you know, when you, when you make a, a break to eat something, they open one over the tono and take a small piece and they keep some pistachios or some uh, uh, nuts, uh, some eggs, uh, some roschette too. And, uh, and they, they cut a very small slide of the botarga or over the tono and then drink with this lagby. What is lagby? Lagby is a chlorophyll from the palm tree. It takes about 24 hours to take the lagby from the tree and then the first 24 hours when you keep it in the house is only sweet. At the second 24 hours become alcoholic. The third day too, the fourth day can be dangerous to drink. So uh, the strange thing is that there are people too also if are Islamic and they don't drink alcoholic drinks, was buying this and uh, justificated from the fact that the, in the first day is only sweet. But they was keeping to the house and keeping it for the second and the third day as usual. And they drink alcohol too. Uh, most of the production of alcoholic in Libya, Arak, uh, and the original from Arak is from uh, Turkey and the Buha was from uh, uh, Tunisia, but they produce also in Italy, uh, in Tripoli. And uh, they produce also beer and wine. Most of the producer of those alcoholic uh, drink uh, was Jewish, 80%. And 20% was uh, Italian that have no problem with the, with, the alcohol, with the alcohol. But the strange thing, they say one friend of mine that 80% of the selling was to the Arab. Uh, one more thing is the dates. You know, the dates is a, a, a simple food that make the, the, the life uh, easy and friendly. I remember my father sitting with the Arab people and work together, sitting on the floor and uh, eating dates uh, dipped in, uh, in, uh, in oil. oil and speaking a lot of time. This was the time uh, friendly between the communities. When the child was uh, make uh, their break, <laughs> breakfast uh, also with a, a toasted uh, corn, 
or with the Fico d'India, uh, that is very word prickly pear. It's a very difficult word for me. <laughs> and uh, the man that go come with the trolley to sell the prickly, they cut them immediately when you eat them, and uh, when you have to pay, he was counted the pill to to give you how much to pay. Uh, one uh, very special thing that is interrupt our test during the food and during also the day uh, is a, it's called ensayer that is made by the vegetable of the season. And uh, the sauce, uh, the dressing was done by, by only salt and lemon, a lot but. And this is a, a way to interrupt uh, a, a, a food a place from the other to give a new chance to the, the place coming. And uh, one of the vegetable that uh, managing this place is the uh, Colorabi is called, uh, and uh, in Italy is, uh, is starting to be founded. But uh, in Libya it was very popular. And no house, uh, all the houses have the uh, uh, pepper standing outside. Uh, in the right season they do the pepper for all the year and uh, they keep it inside the house and they work it uh, make a, a powder and then they make the felfel uchuma that is uh, like the jam for you maybe in my house the jam is felfel uchuma it's paprika with garlic uh, prepared and uh, in a jar in the already Already, every house have to have it because it's a, a preparation that uh, make the food very uh, easily. One of the main uh, food of the triple Italian people was the haraimi, that is called haraimi from the word har picante, um, spicy, and uh, fish with sauce and with the felfeluciuma and uh, with the uh, hot bread and uh, mostly we was using garupa fish that uh, Libya was rich of uh, and uh, um, the spicy that we put was uh, uh, caraway and uh, cumin and uh, normally paprika. Uh, I win um, um, a competition in the TV with this plate, I present it with the pasta. They win a competition. From that day, uh, everybody was calling for to present this food, or my food in special. Uh, and also they order for me uh, products like this, but only friendly, I don't sell. And in Tel Aviv, there is a restaurant, it is called Dr. Shakshuka. That is a, a very simple food. It's made only felfeluciuma, tomato, and two eggs, and a lot of bread, and you are ready for another day to work. And uh, the restaurant sell only this plate, consider. Uh, like for Italian people, it's fettuccine burro parmigiano, the simple thing. This is for the Italian people. And... Uh, one more thing is the mafruma. Mafruma is a, a stuffed uh, bowl uh, that you consider is meat. But if you see it, totally, the meat is a very, very small part because it's very expensive. It was very expensive, the meat. So they put with the meat, they put the bread, the potatoes, the, the onion, and all the things to make it bigger and also cover it with another vegetable, so the outlook is very big, but you eat a very small quantity of meat, but you present a nice, a nice uh, dish. Uh, also, sisa is a, a, the word come from the the word uh, be basement, base uh, basis, it is a, a, a component of uh, um, a lot of seeds and. Uh, almonds and the rich things that we used to do when uh, it bo born a child, when uh, we go to marry, when uh, we build a new building, we eat from this. And also if remain of this, we used to drop it inside the foundation, the, the basement of the building to give a good chance, uh, a lucky. 
two months before uh, Passover, we receive in the house a ship like this. We play for two months before seeing it on the table. This was usual, and we don't take um, a trauma from this. And uh, another thing is the henne, that uh, all the uh, ladies, when you go to be married, they get uh, uh, dye the hair and make an, a, a nice uh, look for the hands and for the foot to be presented to her future husband. Also, the friends of her help her one week before to wash their uh, wool, wool, the sheep wool in the, in the sea. They was sh washing all the wool that is necessary for their mattress, for their bed. And uh, the husband was uh, in charge, in charge uh, the task uh, to 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 bring the food to all the friends of the future wife. And in this occasion, the husband, the future husband, have to give them the best best food from his uh, uh, family. So they give their best because it's uh, very important. To, to give a good impression in this moment before, before uh, they are going to be married. And they work the, the, the wool in the house, they stand it on the, on the sun in the house and they, they work it until to receive a nice mattress for the new couple that will get also a room in the patio together with the mother-in-law. Consider, it's not simple to live together, but it was. And uh, all the friends of the future uh, wife bring her to the house of the, of the, with a, a nice party with a lot of food too. And uh, most of the food have the uh, signification uh, symbols. The, how is it called? Melograno? Pomegranate, yeah, uh, it's one of these that uh, in also in uh, in a new year and also when introduce a new uh, wife, we was used to uh, show the couscous. The 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 the, the, the seams have to be a lot to to symbolize the prosperity. Uh, the 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 arbe, <laughs> okay, and uh, another thing is uh, f when finish. Uh, Passover, we do a bread like this that also have a symbol that is the uh, egg that is uh, symbolize the uh, multiplication of the people to to get more babies next year. And uh, I find this bread also in Sicilia and in Puglia they use also in Passover. Echo. And then have uh, the matzah. Matzah is a, a ftera we call it. And every house have a, a special oven in the middle of the house to make the matzah in the house because it was not a factory to produce for all the people at that time. And also me, till today, I do this kind of meat just to remember the people how we do one time. It's very difficult, but I do it every year. And then I conclude with the coffee. Coffee and tea was the way to speak uh, one with the other everywhere in all the time. When somebody uh, offer you a tea or a coffee, it was a moment of uh, uh, to drop the barrier between each the other to be together and uh, from wherever they come, uh, the T is a, a, a symbol, uh, have a, a big symbol to be friend with the other. And uh, everyone proposes it with the, with the nuts inside, with the almonds, uh, green tea, red tea, caramel tea, with nana. Everyone in our country have a different tea for digestive one, for the before the food, after the food, uh, in the afternoon tea or coffee too. And uh, all you can see is tea in different way. And then in 1967, I come to Italy uh, because a 3,000 kilometer from my house, something happened in Israel. 
uh, all the Arab country uh, go against Israel and uh, the Arab of Libya want to do the same thing with the Jewish of Libya. We was at that time about 6,000 people. We stay in a house about one month, most of us without, me without food totally. Uh, finally, uh, I don't make it long, we come to Italy and I thank you Italy for accepting us at the time because it's not so simple, not all the country wanted us at the time. So I thank Italy very hard till today. And uh, I dedicated um, this speech to my professor Aldo Moro that for his uh, uh, wanted to uh, compromise different idea from uh, the political world, Italian world, he pay with his uh, life uh, this, uh, 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 this wanted to be near. And I, till today, also if the difficult with the other countries, with the other religions there are still now, I work in the same way by the food. I do the food my uh, language and I offer it to the people and explain my story and their story, I think everybody have a story with the food. We are always friends and uh, I do one time in a, in a month a dinner and I explain myself uh, with my food, my story. And I think that is a, a good way to uh, give a memory of uh, the facts of this story. Uh, so I want to conclude with this. Uh, um, my, um, my food, my smells, uh, my uh, sounds, uh, I bring with me. My citizenship is exactly my food. Where I go, I bring them with me, so I feel everywhere in the world a citizen with my food, if my food is with me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Amos. Also, the shuttle arrived as is outside. Uh, we have a little small uh, surprise. So now, two minutes. Two minutes. And I will call upon the chair, uh, Miriam and David, yes, to sing a song, a special song, uh, to conclude this uh, special uh, workshop. Uh, please, you can come, David and Miriam. Watch out, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I want to thank all the participants for their lecture, for their preparedness to this uh, workshop. I want to, talk to thanks to David Magnaggi for the cooperation and the University of Trey. I want to thank Mara and Tamar for their organization of this uh, conference. I hope that we, uh, with David Magnaggi, we will upload all the lectures to the web. And if we can do it, we can uh, publish the uh, papers on the special review of trauma. Uh, I hope that in the letter that we will uh, send to you after the uh, conference, we will give you all the details. We will meet again at, uh, at uh, 20 minutes after, uh, after eight o'clock at the entrance of the hotel to go together to the uh, restaurant this evening to conclude our uh, workshop. So thank you very much, everybody. We have Maurice. 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 Can. 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 Can.
ביום שבת קודש 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 יום השבי יום השבי שבי בחרת מכל מניינים ואותו קידשת בשבוע ושנים איש אשר נשאת בגזע אמונים ובדמי השונים שבת קודש, ביום שבת קודש, ביום שבת קודש, יום השבי, יום השבי. בראבו. of Haifa is work acting for 38 years 38 years uh, they perform without being paid only voluntary we are more than 10 men and women who uh, sing piyutim, religious piyutim, and secular uh, uh, songs from the Middle Ages. And in Israel, uh, the radical religious accused me to be anti-religious. Because I, I make sing women with men the pew team, but I uh, answer them without the voice of the women and without the involving of women in the Jewish life. Everywhere, every, in every community, Sephardic or Ashkenazic, Judaism has not been today, with, because only the women transmitted orally and 
daily and minute for minute the Jewish faiths to their children and uh, also make possible to their husband to work outside and to come to house and to eat without working at the house. For me, the Jewish uh, women in all the history of Judaism is uh, overlooked. Without the women, it is, it, it is impossible to understand the Jewish history from the first temple to today. Thank you. Io faccio un'altra ver versione di Yoduharai Onai che si cantava a casa. Va bene? In Judo Arabic, Maurice. In Judo Arabic, yes. Yeah. No, 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 ok. No, no, in Judo Arabic. Hadgadia in Judo Arabic. Ah, yeah? Yes, yes. Very no, interesting. Yeah. Hadgadia in Judo Arabic. Um, ok. Um, just a minute. And now, <laughs> let's do something on this lichot, ok. Adonai manna ama ahabateha Amonai malitov kirvateha Amonai amonai meonbeteha Amonai ayeshvayesh me ayin tata Amon ay lev khbod shimcha Yohto vi atta Amon ay menat kohi Ve'osir atta Amon ay Shama Shimakhayareti Amunah 